Hi, in this video tutorial series, I'm going to show you how we can model a mechanism inside space claim. We'll be considering a slider crank mechanism that consists of a crank and a piston that is oscillating inside a cylinder. The rot rotary motion of the crank is transmitted as translatory motion of the a piston that we'll see inside space claim. We'll start from scratch inside space claim. This is the default window that opens up when you start a new file. Let's create a new component named base. And inside the base, we'll start with a sketch. Space claim has a very good shift tab dimensioning, so we'll use shift. and let's go to 100 and again 100 our rectangle will start from here let's have a rectangle of size 500 in width and of 200 as height once this is done we can go back to modeling view or 3d view we need to pull this surface down so normal extrusion button comes in the form of pull and we can use space to enter a particular value let's put a value of 20 mm as the depth of the plate base plate now using control 2 we'll go to the top view let's create a circle in this particular plane click on the center and let let it have a uh, diameter of 10 mm we have a fairly small circle here that would be used to rotate the crank now we need to create uh, guide ways for the piston so let's click on rectangle and uh, use shift tab to get the starting point that's at 175 mm and 20 mm from there we need a guide of 150 mm length and uh, its height would be around 20 that is one guide way we have and we'll be interested in second one so we can start from here itself shift and uh, using tab I go to 40 that is our first point from there 150 it's already selected we'll go to 20 okay now we need to pull these surfaces up let's select the circle this rectangle I'm using control select so we have three now we can start pulling this upwards and I use space to make the value as 20 mm this is how like we have created a base part uh, let's click on design one and say new component let's name the next component as crank okay now the crank is the active component we'll again go back to the top view we'll use we need to create the crank on this plane using shift tab let's have it at 10 this would be again 10 and our cranks length is 70 and height is 20 okay now let's make this solid disabled or invisible 
so we'll be able to concentrate better now we need to create a circle at this point with 10 as its diameter we need to create another circle that's at 50 mm that also has a 10 mm radius okay let's do it this way let's get rid of this circle so that basically we had created an extrusion earlier so here we'll be creating a hole we'll do that by pulling this up by 20 and so once that once that is done we still observe that there's this surface circular surface we just delete that so we have a see-through hole now on this top surface we select this and click on sketch mode we now have a circle drawn at 50 mm with radius I mean diameter as 10 mm once that is done we'll go back to 3d model view now we'll pull this circle by 20 once this is done we look back at base so this is how our crank has been modeled let's again disable this okay we need to create another component now click on new component let's name it coupler we'll need to start a sketch we select this upper surface of the crank and we start with a rectangle again we are using shift tab we go to 10 10 from there our coupler length is 250 plus 10 on each side that would be 270 and height is 10 we are done with that now as you had seen we need a hole here because crank has an extrusion and apparently the other side also would require a hole so we'll create two circles now and we can uh, make two holes at the same time so this is one circle that we have done the second would be at 250 and zero let's make it 10 mm okay there we go so we can extrude in sketch view itself so we just click on pull and it also has a nice option let me just show it to you click on this and it asks option we say up to and we can select on this top surface and this extrusion is happening till then okay so we are done with and we'll get rid of these extra two circles that we had earlier done uh, we need to create the fourth component 
so it's a new component and say as slider which is also a, a piston in our case okay let's go to top view let's create a rectangle on this upper surface of the and let's use shift tab again or rather we we don't need a shift tab here we already are in right position and the length of the slider is 50 and height is 40 good enough now let's disable coupler so that we have better view and we'll pull this up to match with 20 so after that we again go back to control A this is the top view we want a circle here I'll use shift tab if you want a circle on this surface use shift and come by 25 and along y it should be 20 and our diameter is 10 so we will now extrude this by 20 so here we are uh, we have our very block model kind of slider crank mechanism done in the next video I'll show you how we can assign assembly constraints to this and after that we'll explore SC motion which is a motion and simulation add-in that has been developed for space claim. Thank you.